late development here tonight. Protesters head to a downtown gas station, the scene of an overnight shooting. It's new on the night team. Thanks for joining us. I'm Doug Profit. They got inside the station at first to Liberty and police headed there quickly as well. And that's where we find the night team's Jesse Cohen, who's been following the developments with more on what happened a few hours ago and overnight at the same station. Jesse. Well, Doug, the scene that you see just behind me here is very different than what it looked like just about an hour ago. As you can see, they have closed this gas station. All the lights are off, but there is still a small LMPD police presence right outside of Bader's here at First and Liberty. But like I said, this looks very different than what it did just about an hour ago when we got here, when protesters were outside speaking with police. We took some video that we're going to show you right now of what that looked like just about an hour ago. Police got here relatively quickly. And we were watching a Facebook Live just as they were getting here. We saw the protesters enter the convenience store right before their arrival, and we saw some products being thrown on the ground by some of those protesters. In the end, it did end up being a small group standing outside on the sidewalk, talking to police, and they did leave peacefully heading back towards 6th and Jefferson. But it was just a few hours ago that some of the protesters I spoke with told me there was a chance that they would come back here at the same scene that there was a shooting just late last night. An argument that ends in gunshots. This surveillance video shows a man in the doorway of Bader's Food Mart arguing with an employee inside. You can't see the employee, but please say he's the man inside shooting at the victim with a rifle. Like me looking at this store right now, you know what I'm saying? I just I feel some type of way. I, I really do. I feel some type of way about what expired last night. I feel what, some type of way when we tried to go into the store afterwards. Bruce Sweeney II was among a large group of people who heard about the early morning shooting and headed to the Shell gas station at First and Liberty almost immediately. So when I get here, I see a man behind the cash with an assault rifle sitting there. Montez Jones says when they arrived, there were no police in sight, just a staff member behind the counter still serving customers. This is a whole cashier. Like, it's an employee of the store. Police arrested the employee, Charles V.M. Moore. He has a long criminal history with traffic and marijuana offenses, along with multiple counts of wanton endangerment in 2002, where he tried to run over a subject and his mother after being told he was driving too fast. Both Sweeney and Jones tell us they knew the victim that wound up going to the hospital before police showed up. He didn't want to die, so he drives himself. Somebody drove, I don't know who it was, they drove him to the... To, you know, to get some help for his neck. Just about a month ago, an employee at the same store was shot several times during a robbery. It's got to stop together. And Sweeney says after spending almost 100 days fighting for justice and equality in Louisville, last night's shooting is yet another reminder of why things need to change. It could have been me. It really could have been me. For the night team, I'm Jesse Cohen.